Hello there. I see that you're here today to learn about Vincent Van Gogh. That's me. Thank you for bringing me back from the dead. I do appreciate it. It's been a long, long time. And I understand there's some eighth graders here today that want to talk about my life, about my art. Let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I was born in the Netherlands in 1853. I was the second of six children. My father was a clergyman, and I think that greatly influenced me in uh, religion and culture. I was in school. I think you students are 13, 14 years old. I was in school till the age of 15 where I dropped out. I had kind of a rocky childhood. Uh, I wasn't, uh, my moods weren't stable. Uh, I would have fits of great anger and violence, and then great fits of uh, feeling very depressed and down. I moved around a lot. I had several jobs. I was an art dealer. Uh, I was even a, a, a preacher. Uh, I moved from London to Paris, uh, to Belgium, back to the Netherlands where I was born. Uh, and I think that greatly influenced. I was ne never able to be fully stable at one place. I was never able to keep a job, never e able to keep a girlfriend. Uh, and I think my mental issues kind of uh, aided with that. I was pretty good at being an art dealer, and I was able to kind of see the art that was around me at that time. Uh, I didn't make much money, and so I, in dire poverty, I moved back in with my parents. It's the worst, right? Uh, and I learned how to draw. Uh, and at that time, I felt like I was able to express my, my feelings through my, my paintings. My little brother, Theo, was an art dealer and he would continually send me money and he would uh, strongly encourage me uh, in, in everything uh, that I did. I was influenced by other artists. In fact, I even had exhibits that I would show of their arts. And it wasn't until later in my years, uh, I lived to be 37, uh, and the last two years of my life was the most uh, prolific artistic wise. I was sick. I did not feel good. I could not explain my sickness, uh, but I think it drove my art. And in that art, I was able to express my feelings. I was able to express my emotions. I was able to express what I saw around me. A lot of my art were, was done uh, of uh, countrysides, of the peasants working in the fields. Uh, and uh, that greatly shaped uh, the art uh, that, that I did. Nowadays, I think that you guys would say I was bipolar. Uh, and uh, that would explain my highs and my lows. At one point, I teamed up with an artist named uh, Galgen, uh, Gogan, excuse me, uh, and uh, he and I got into a fight, uh, and I think there's going to be a question about what happened. As you see, I'm a little bandaged here on my right ear, and, and we'll get to that. While I was uh, in, in, institutionalized, uh, I painted one of my uh, most well-known works called Starry Night, uh, which uh, you guys may have uh, seen before. Uh, my last words were the sadness will last forever. There's some mystery about my uh, death, uh, and I'll explore that in some of the questions that are taken uh, here in a little bit. My, le my legacy, my use of color, uh, sweeping brush strokes. In my life, I sold one painting. But in my lifetime, I did over 900 paintings and over a thousand sketches sent all to my brother, uh, Theo, who helped me. I had no children. That's why all the paintings went to uh, Theo. Uh, and uh, I am now known, rightfully so, as one of the uh, greatest artists uh, of all time. At this point, I will take some questions from some students who have gathered here with me uh, today.